Emily Jackson and I was the writer slash videographer for the Kino Fall Challenge story for Kaiser High School. So when my teammates and I heard of the prompt, A Moment of Pure Joy, we decided it was really important to reflect on moments of hardship, strife, and dread that might happen before a moment of peace and happiness. And we felt it was really reflective of all the strife that we're facing during 2020. So with that said, please enjoy our interpretation of a moment of pure joy that came when least expected. Do you ever feel like you're wandering? It's not relaxing, it's almost numbing. Like your head is outside of yourself and an infinite sea encapsulates your mind. For as soon as you wander, you drift and then you're lost and its salty body seems endless. What is this? To breathe but not to live. Every time I try to speak about it, the ocean fills my lungs once more with melancholic tsunamis. Moreover, if I feel like this, what does it mean to live otherwise? Before all this, before this home became a shelter, and my mental pool didn't seem so suffocating. I'm wandering and I do not know how to stop. But maybe wandering's okay. Maybe it's okay to feel apart from yourself. Like you're the character of an unknown book and you have no idea what the author's intentions are. Because when you're lost, when you feel like you have nothing except for memories of normalcy, what you have already found while you were on shore becomes so much more colorful, so much more crisp, and so much more full of life. Because what is treasure without rarity? What's privilege without suffering? That is why the sea will teach you a new way, more colorful than ever before. All you have to do is be willing to listen to it. Note to myself, I think in this moment, I should breathe, listen, feel, and never hide. For when you wash up the shore once again, you will never forget what swimming has taught you. Thursday night at 7.30 on PBS Hawaii.